Good morning. Good morning, Glory. So we're trying something new today. Normally I write the message as I receive it today. We begin, I'm working with air as an element. And yesterday I released my audiobook and feeling like I'm shifting into a new season so it's all about the throat it's about vocal expression and trusting that what comes through in this way is every bit as impactful and right and on point as as when I type it when I receive the message and I type so let's uh let's see what happens uh, so how it works normally when I am writing this as I receive the message is I have a question within me and then I, uh, it's, it's just like the answer comes very quickly. So today I'm beginning with a general sense of the energy of the day, a general sense for the collective. Yes, the collective experience is one of deep, deep, deep expansion, increasing lightness. As more is dropped, cut, burned away, a lot of cutting, a lot of cut, 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 connected with this beautiful season of eclipses between the solar and the lunar. There is, and it's clear, it's very clear energetically if we allow ourselves to go there. Glory, what can, what can there be for one who is struggling with the cutting? Do you have do we have um, encouragement or insight into that? Yes, the beautiful release that can happen is made much easier when one accepts deeply in thyself that this is but an experiment, this is a play, this is the theater. Yes, the theater of all theaters. And the ones which thou art cutting, it is for the greatest and grandest outcome. Just as you may be cut from another's life, that is perfection as well. All of this is in the name of love, of kindness, of loving kindness, of deepest compassion, whether it is seen, witnessed, experienced in the current way of perception or not. Can one allow Yes, can one allow that? If this is new information, if this is a new lens through which you look, can you allow your eyes, your heart, your being to adjust to that lens? Not resist it, simply look through it. Like those machines when you go to the tops of a mountain. You insert a quarter, you commit to looking through those lenses, to looking out far, far away into the distance. And it's blurry. It takes your eyes a moment to refocus. This is a refocusing. Yes. Yes, Glory, I see that very clearly. I am looking through across the canyon 
And it does take a moment for the eyes to refocus, to see the distance. For it is not always about the now. It is not about this very moment. And yet every moment is this moment where we are going to, as a collective, as a whole, as one, into the very wholeness that we are, into recognizing it. For we always have been whole, but we have looked through fractured lenses, through fractured lenses. So we have only been able, you can see the fracturing, but to see clearly you could only look through one tiny piece of that fractured lens. And so now what we are moving to is being able to see beyond ourselves, beyond this tiny, tiny shard to see the wholeness of what we are. Thank you. Thank you so much for that explanation, Glory. I love that I can actually hear, you know, as we drop the coin in the quarter, <laughs> we drop the coin into the slot and, and it clicks, the lens opens, and suddenly you can see a whole new vista far, far away. You can see it. And then when you step away and you look at it, what you see in front of you is a different view, but you can see it is all one and the same. I love that play, that play of distance. Thank you, Glory. Thank you.